Hi everyone, meteorologist Daniel Graves with your tropical update. Again, tropical storm Marco made landfall in the mouth of the Mississippi River with the six o'clock advisory. Notice not too much rainfall. It's been very displaced off toward the northeast. The latest advisory showing it continuing to move on shore and weakening as it moves off toward the northwest. And then our focus will shift over toward tropical storm Laura. So satellite and radar showing some showers offshore trying to build their way further inland. And so we could see some rainfall going into the night, but checking out radar off toward the northeast. That's where the much heavier rain is across the Florida Panhandle, Alabama and into Georgia. Tropical storm Laura with the seven o'clock advisory winds have increased to 65 miles per hour as it's about to move over western Cuba and then into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, where it is forecast to become a category one hurricane. Looks like late in the day on Tuesday or early Wednesday as it makes its way towards southwest Louisiana. Could have winds of 105 miles per hour as a category two hurricane. And so being on the eastern side, we could see some impacts from this system. Also watching the hurricane forecast models. The problem we had with Marco, a lot of them didn't agree, but right now seeing a good cluster of those models all across southwest Louisiana. And so if this continues to hold, the confidence in that forecast will continue to grow. So out ahead of the system, hurricane watches across southeast, southwest, excuse me, Louisiana, southeast parts of Texas. For us here at home, Lafouche, Terrebonne, Lower Jefferson, and Lower Plaquemines under a tropical storm watch which means tropical storm force conditions are likely in that area within the next 48 hours. But as Laura is moving across the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to push a lot of water on shore. This is a look at the storm surge forecast, two to four feet over Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Maurepaul, and then you see down toward the coast near Grand Isle, four to six feet, and then heading off toward Mississippi, a storm surge of three to five feet. So our local impacts we're looking at here, some coastal flooding, again, possible outside levee protection. Some periods of heavy rainfall may move in Tuesday Tuesday and Wednesday, but I think the highest chance for those rain bands will be for us on Thursday with lingering rain into Friday. Tropical storm force winds along the coast and we'll see some breezy winds further inland as we head through the week as well. And hey, we're going to be here throughout the night and going into the week with updates on Tropical Storm Laura, and you can catch that coming up here. Of course, we'll have the news at 10 o'clock following the Republican National Convention.